It's Fry Up Friday. Here we go, we're here, Cafe Royale. Joe's being all healthy. Hips the breakfast, mate. We just had some very sad news as well, haven't we, Joe? Ah, the boots. They're not for pros, mate. <laughs> Right, good morning guys and happy Friday. It might not be Friday when you're watching this, but it's Friday for me, so that's a good thing. Right, I'll take you for a little walk around the site, show you what we've got to get on with today. We will be finishing off this soak away, just bringing the pea gravel up to level and then adding in the clay and topsoil and whatnot. We will be connecting this pipe that we dog legged up there yesterday. I will be carrying on clearing around these footings. I started yesterday, all looks nice and tidy. Just need to mimic that around the rest of the job also we will be raising up this pipe out the way so we can carry on clearing around just temporarily and carry on clearing around this manhole and we'll keep you updated on what goes on today see you later We've got 150 mil of pea gravel on top of this. We've got 150 mil of pea gravel on top of that. Time to backfill. It's Friday and you know what that means. It's Fry Up Friday, so I'm gonna go and get brekkie. Here we go, we're here, Cafe Royale. This is where we get our breakfast every week. If you are local to Leamington, definitely check these guys out. They are awesome. I've gone for the standard full English, but Joe's being all healthy. Don't know how you got there, mate. Hipster breakfast, mate. Hipster breakfast. breakfast. Yes. Super hipster. Smashed avocado. Yeah. Poached egg and brown bread. I'm not really healthy either, Dom knows last night. <laughs> You're just I making mean, up I for need, it now. I needed something green. You're repenting for your sins. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a fright next week. Decent. So we've got our pipe connected here and this T piece is gonna go up to here. We need to get as much height as we can between the ground and this pipe. So the uh, the edge of this pipe here is catching on here. So what we're gonna do now, Joe's come up with a good idea of cutting this lip out here. We're gonna have to sacrifice this fit in, but it's gonna mean that we've got an extra inch, two inches of clearance that we can actually lift the pipe up. I'll show you what Joe's doing now and then we can explain what is it. Okay, so everything is connected, soil pipe's connected, waste off the kitchen sink's connected, uh, down pipe from upstairs and also from the basin and shower upstairs. And our washing machine are all connected in. Our run comes across here, the outlet straight into the gully there. So we can get our manhole cover on, let's just check. There we go, that's back in. And we can still get our machines through here, tack barrier and everything. We've got a lot of stone come in, so it's important that we've got this width, otherwise we wouldn't get it through. So we're gonna have a little tidy up now, get rid of some of the stuff, and then I'll get in the dig out and start scraping the rest of this away. Get all these edges squared up, and that's it. It is Monday, and we've got lots to get on with as usual. First of all, Joe is gonna get this bit of concrete broke out, and then what we're gonna do is get all this here into a nice little pile up there, and we're gonna get ready to get the digger out the front. While Joe's doing that, I'm gonna get this board out and start digging, well, First of all, get this water pumped out of here and then start digging under there for a toe underneath the existing footing. And we're going to get this poured with concrete. Once this is broke out, then I can get all this soil here moved up to there to make a nice little ramp to get the digger out the front because we've got a load of MOT stone coming today. So we can start backfilling these areas here, patio, and some in there as well. So 
guys, the stone has arrived. Our MOT is in the tack bar out ready. Joe is gonna start tipping this into our little areas here in between our footings. So we're gonna be coming up to this level here along these bricks. And then obviously get this filled, get this area filled and the little area over there as well. We won't go too close to the edges because we've still got a bit of a dig to do here, but we're waiting on some ballast to come before we can get that poured. So there's no massive rush on that at the minute. That'll be tomorrow's job. For now, all we've got to do is get this stone in. So let's get on with it. guys that is it for today we have been pretty busy getting all this lot in we've got it all just piled up for now we can obviously spread this all out tomorrow get it exactly where we need it we've got to clear this out get down to the mot that's underneath that soil that's fallen in get this bit of shuttering out and then we can put a load of mot in there and also we just need to adjust this slightly just to bring it back over a little bit more for the patio area and then we can get the rest of the stone in place where we need it get it all whacked down and then start to get everything marked out we've got our timbers ready for our little post that we're going to put out to get the string line set up then we can just smear some muck on, line everything out onto the footing so when the brickies turn up later on this week they know exactly where they're going and they can just crack straight on with that and then the block and beam will arrive and we can get all that dropped in as well. It is Tuesday today and as usual we've got a very busy time ahead of us, we've got lots to get on with. Joe is back in his favourite place, he's in the hole. We just had some very sad news as well haven't we Joe? The boots. Ah the boots. The Navy pros. What's not, happened? They're not for pros, mate. <laughs> not for pros. <laughs> they it's, failed. The soles have ripped out and it's yeah. just a mess. To be fair, they have been using the views. They have been, but... But they've only lasted, like, what, three weeks? Less two weeks? That, two weeks. Yeah. You should spend a lot of money on your shoes or your bed, because if you're not in one, you're in the other. That's John's top tip for the day. Joe's digging this out because, as I mentioned before, we've got to extend this footing through. It's got to go slightly underneath the existing build because this wall here is actually going to take a steel, which is going to run across here. It's going to go under 400 mil underneath there just to make sure that this footing, because it's only literally a corbelling footing here with a very small amount of concrete underneath it, we need to make sure that that is nice and solid because obviously there's going to be a fair amount of weight on that wall. So Joe has finished his mining expedition to the centre of the earth. Next up now, what we're going to do is get some holes drilled in this footing and then we can put some rebar in there then. Same as we did with the footing over there, just to make sure it binds them both together, the two separate footings. And then that is it. Last bit of concrete to go in there. And then we can get the rest of the stone around it, get some boards down and then we're mud free. We're mud free, Joe. Yeah. Joe has completed the hole. We've got our rebar set in. We've got our shuttering up. But because time is getting on and we've got a lot to do still before we can start pouring that, we're going to leave that for now. We're going to get out the front set up, ready. So first thing in the morning, we can get that smashed in and then we can get all this footage cleared off and get marking out. So at the minute we have got a delivery come in from one of our sponsors, MKM. And we've got our mixer set up, all our cement and everything ready. We've got another ton of ballast on the back of there that we're going to get off. Right guys, that is it. The end of another day. We've got on pretty well today. There's been quite a lot going on. It doesn't look like we've achieved much, but we actually have, honest. Joe's hole is ready and we can get that filled in tomorrow, first thing. And then we can crack on with the rest of this then. Uh, we can also get our markings out ready for our footings. Get all that preps ready for the, bu the builders. We're the builders. Okay, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> us, isn't it? Get it ready for the brickers when they come uh, later on in the week. So that's it. 
hopefully you've enjoyed it today thanks for watching and we'll see you in the morning